Welcome back to Immaculate Wealth, where we give you the game on personal finance and a wealth mindset. I'm James, and this is Master Your Money, Taxes, Insurance, and Retirement. So three money problems are costing you cash right now. These are taxes, insurance, and retirement planning. Most people lose thousands each year because they don't understand these areas. After this video, you'll know how to fix that. Now here's what you need to know about taxes. The average person pays $1,250 too much in taxes every year. That's money you could keep in your pocket. For insurance, most homes don't have enough insurance. One big problem, it costs you everything you saved. For retirement, almost half of all Americans haven't saved anything for retirement. Saving even a little now can add up to a lot later. These topics are important for your money, and if you understand them, you'll save more, protect what you have, and plan better for your future. In this video, you'll learn how to pay less in taxes legally, how to get the right insurance without wasting your money, and easy ways to save for retirement even if you start it late. By the end, you'll know what to do to stop losing money and start saving more. Let's get started. So for taxes, the tax code is complex, but understanding it can save you thousands. Let's see how we can effectively apply the tax code for your maximum benefit. First, understand tax brackets. The U.S. uses a progressive tax system. This means your income is divided into chunks called brackets. Each bracket is taxed at a different rate. You don't pay the highest rate on all your income. For example, in 2023 for a single filer, the first $11,000 is taxed at 10%. Income from $11,001 to $44,725 is taxed at 12%. Income from $44,726 to $95,375 is taxed at 22%. Higher incomes have higher rates. This means if you earn $50,000, you're not paying 22% on all of it. You pay 10% on the first $11,000, 12% on the next chunk, and then 22% only on the amount over $44,725. Next, know the difference between deductions and credits. Deductions lower your taxable income. If you have $50,000 in income and $10,000 in deductions, you're only taxed on $40,000. Credits directly reduce your tax bill. $1,000 credit means you pay $1,000 less in taxes. Common deductions include mortgage interest, state and local taxes, char charitable donations. Value credits include earned income tax credit for lower income workers, child tax credit for parents, education credit for students. Another key strategy is using tax advantage accounts. 
traditional 401k or IRA, money means your money goes in before taxes, lowering your taxable income now. You pay taxes when you withdraw in retirement. A Roth 401k or IRA, you pay taxes on the money now, but it grows tax-free and you pay no taxes when you withdraw in retirement. Remember, tax laws change frequently. While these principles are generally applicable, always consult with a certified tax professional for personalized advice. Many reputable tax experts share updates on YouTube and other platforms which can be valuable resources for staying informed. By understanding and applying these concepts, you can potentially save thousands on your taxes each year. This isn't about avoiding taxes, but about using the tax code effectively to keep more of your hard-earned money. So, insurance. Insurance protects your money and assets from unexpected events. Let's, let's explore how to use insurance effectively to safeguard your financial future. There are several types of insurance you need to know about. Health insurance. This covers medical expenses. Key terms to understand are premium, the amount you pay each month for coverage, deductible, how much you pay before insurance starts covering costs. The copay, a fixed amount you pay for specified services, and out of pocket maximum, the most you'll pay in a year before insurance covers 100%. Life insurance, this provides money to your family if you die. There are two main types. Term life covers you for a specific period, usually 10 to 30 years. It's generally cheaper than whole life, which covers you for your entire life and includes an investment component. It costs more, but it can save, it can build you cash value over time. Property insurance. This includes homeowners or renters insurance. It protects your home and belongings from damage or theft, like say in a fire, it'd be damage or if your home is raided. For homeowners, make sure you're insured for full replacement costs of your home, not just its market value. Auto insurance. This is required in most states. It covers damage to your car and injuries from accidents. Consider your deductible carefully. A higher deductible means lower premiums, but more out-of-pocket costs if you have an accident. Disability insurance. This replaces part of your income if you can't work due to illness or injury. Many people overlook this, but it's critical for protecting your earning power. Common insurance mistakes. Being underinsured to save on premiums. Not updating policies as your life changes, like say for a marriage, children, or a new home. Choosing a policy based only on price without considering coverage. How to get the right coverage. Access your needs. Consider your age, health, family situation, and assets. Compare policies. Look at coverage limits, exclusions, and premiums. Understand these terms. Know what's covered and what's not. Review your policies annually. Your needs change over time, so should your coverage. Remember, the goal of insurance is to protect you from financial disasters, not minor inconveniences. Focus on covering significant risks that could seriously impact your financial health. 
by understanding and properly using insurance, you create a safety net that allows you to take calculated risk in other areas of your financial life, knowing you're protected against major setbacks. Retirement planning. Planning for retirement is critical for your long-term financial security. Let's break down how to build a solid retirement strategy. First, understand the power of compound interest. This is when you earn returns, not just on your initial investment, but also on the gains from previous years. Start, starting early is the key. Here's why. Say you invest $5,000 a year starting at age 25, assuming a 7% annual return. You'd have about $1,143,000 by age 65. But if you wait until 35 to start, you'd only have about $540,000. That 10-year difference is it's a massive difference. Now, let's look at the main types of retirement accounts. We mentioned these earlier, but let's go over some more about them. 401k. This is offered by many employers. You contribute pre-tax money, lowering your taxable income now. Many employers offer matching contributions. This is free money. You pay taxes when you withdraw in retirement or if you, if you withdraw it earlier. Traditional IRA, it's an individual retirement account. You can open this now on your own. Contributions may be tax deductible depending on your income. You pay taxes when you withdraw in retirement. Roth IRA, you contribute after tax money. Your money grows tax-free. You pay no taxes when you withdraw in retirement. There are income limits for contributing. How much should you save? A common guideline is the 4% rule. This suggests you can withdraw 4% of your retirement savings each year without running out of money. So if you want $40,000 a year in retirement, for example, you need about $1 million saved. Strategies for successful retirement planning. Start early. Even small amounts add up over time. Maximize employer match. If your employer offers a 401k match, contribute at least enough to get the full match. Diversify your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Contribute contributions over time. Boost your savings rate as your income grows. Consider a Roth IRA for tax diversity in retirement. Regularly review and rebalance your portfolio. Remember, your retirement plan should evolve as your life changes. Review it annually and after major life events like marriage, having children, or your job changes. Social Security will likely be a part of your retirement income, but don't rely on it entirely. The average monthly benefit in 2023 is only about $1,700. By understanding these concepts and starting your retirement planning early, you're setting yourself up for a more secure financial future. The key is to start now no matter what your age is, and to consistently save and invest for the long term. Let's recap what we've covered. Taxes. Understanding tax brackets, deductions, credits, and tax advantage accounts can save you thousands each year. Insurance. Proper coverage protects your assets and financial future. Know the types of insurance you need and avoid under or over being under or over insured. Retirement planning. Start early. Take advantage of compound interest and use reti right 
retirement accounts to secure your financial future. These three areas, taxes, insurance, and retirement planning, form the foundation of a solid financial strategy. By mastering them, you're taking control of your financial life. Remember, financial education is an ongoing process. Keep learning, stay informed, and changes with changes in tax laws and financial products, and regularly review your financial strategy. Take action today. Review your tax situation and lock and look for potential savings. Access your insurance coverage for any gaps or excess. Check your retirement savings rate and consider increasing it. Your financial future is in your hands. The steps you take today and can lead to significant rewards down the road. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like or subscribe for financial wisdom. Leave a comment with your biggest takeaway or any questions you have. Until next time, keep building your financial knowledge, securing your future. This is Immaculate Wealth. We'll see you the next one. Peace.